Hey everybody, this is Fulio of Echele Poros Productions and today we're going to be making hot dogs de Sonora. The basics of a Sonoran style hot dog would be a bun, usually a bigger bun, I use bolillos. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about over here. <laughs> today how we're going to be making it is the bun, the beans, the bacon wrapped hot dog, grilled onions and peppers, guacamole, a chipotle mayo, and a avocado lime crema. Let's get started. We're gonna be using a beef hot link or a salchicha, as we affectionately call it in my home. Then obviously you got some bacon. You don't wanna use bacon that's too thick because it'll take too long to get crispy and you really want that crispy bacon on there. Let's get them bacon wrapped. To cook our bacon wrapped sachichas, we'll put them in the oven for about 30 minutes. The oven's preheated to 375. We'll check them at about 20 minutes to see how their progress is, but Let's get them in the oven. So our hot dogs are... So, while our hot... Well, it's the shot. No more drinking before recording. Okay, bye. While our hot dogs are cooking off, we'll get the rest of the dish ready. As we did with the clam chowder and the ceviche, we're gonna be dicing half of the onion. The other half we're gonna be using for our grilled onions, which we're gonna have little strings. This one will dice, again, horizontal cuts, vertical cuts, and you got a perfect dice. I'm not crying, you're crying. And this one will just cut into nice pieces and we'll cook these off. We'll also be slicing the jalapeno to go along with your onions. And then you're just gonna julienne these peppers. For some more greenery, we'll be adding some bell pepper to our jalapenos and our onions. An easy way to cut a bell pepper is to flip it upside down. Make sure you cut off the stem so it lays flat and just cut along the side. And there you got easy cleanup. Lastly, in our pepper mixture, we're gonna be roasting a poblano. But instead of cooking these regular with the bell peppers, the jalapenos, and the onions, we're gonna fire roast this. Let's show you guys how to do that. We're gonna turn on the gas, probably about a medium heat. And we're gonna lay our poblano on. We're gonna get it, let it get a nice char. So while the poblano is roasting, let's get our bell peppers, jalapenos, and onions in this pan, and let's start sweating them down. We'll let that go for about 10 minutes, and we'll check up on them. <laughs> These are where we want them, so let's take them off the heat. Once your poblano is nice and blackened, we can take it off the heat. Once this thing is nice and tatemado, you're gonna take a plastic bag, get your poblano, place it inside, close it up, and you're gonna leave that poblano in there for about five, 10 minutes. You're gonna let it steam, and once it's steamed, we can scrape that blackened skin right off and we're left with a nice roasted poblano. Let's get started on making our guacamole. As always, you get your avocado, get your knife, cut down to the seed, go around, twist, it's sexy. For these, you just wanna get a spoon, scoop it out. Once they're scooped out, you can start smashing them. This is totally up to your preference. If you like a smooth avocado, you can actually blend it up in the blender. I like it a bit more chunky, so we're just gonna be using our fork to mash it. That's how you love me. <laughs> For our guacamole, let's dice up some cilantro. 
Once that's diced up, let's put some in the guacamole. And we'll save the rest for something we're gonna be making a little later. Let's finish off the guacamole with some lemon, some lime, and a good amount of garlic salt. Our guacamole is done, let's give it a try. Perfect. Our poblano's been steaming for a while, let's get its skin off. So with this, you just wanna take your knife and scrape the skin off. And this should be super easy. It's been about 25 minutes. Let's check on our salchichas. Look at those beauties. They're looking great so far. We'll give them another 15 minutes or so. Next, we're gonna be making the base of our chipotle mayo. First, we're gonna take a head of garlic and just split it in half. We're gonna take that and we're gonna cook that in the pan for a bit. While the garlic's going, let's get the rest of our base ready. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a lime and a lemon and you're gonna zest them into your mixture. After you have those zested, just squeeze them into the mixture. Here we have the base for our chipotle mayo, including all that we've done up to here, our garlic that we were cooking down, and of course some chipotle. We blend that all up, and you can use this for anything and everything chipotle. You need a base, you need a marinade, here you go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reserve some, and then we're gonna add our mayo. You mix that up. Oh, that's perfect. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, let's check our salchichas. Look at those beauties. We also threw our bread in here a bit so it could get toasted up. Let's plate one. All right, let's get to assembly. First, our bun. Again, we're using a bolillo roll. You're gonna get your beans and spread them on there liberally. Next, the piece de resistance, your sachicha. Oh yeah. Let's get some onions and peppers on top of that. A nice dollop of guacamole. And now, our sauces. The first one we have here is our chipotle mayo we just made. And our second, an avocado lime crema. And there you have it, our Sonoran style hot dog. Let's give it a nice cut. Ready for this? Sexy. My mouth is just watering. I need to try this. beautiful you get the sachicha which is nice and hot just so good wrapped with the salty bacon topped with onions peppers the nice creaminess of the sauces and the the, the nice break you get from all of it with the guacamole oh I'm gonna keep eating if you like what we're doing here Hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you press the little bell to get notifications of when our next recipe comes out. Subscribe should be popping up right here. My gaming channel, Fulio, should pop up right here. And Grupo Folklorico Echa de Porra should pop up right here. 
get out of here because I'm going to eat.